Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome back to another card video at my channel. Today I'm going to be using a watercolor background that I created a couple weeks ago when I was trying out that travel watercolor set. When I made that video, I did a really fun watercolor background, kind of rainbow-esque, and I just held on to it. I haven't used it. So I thought I would cut it up today and create a birthday card using some products from Concord and Ninth. I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get into it. So here's my watercolor background that I created a couple weeks ago, and it's actually stayed on the board here. I haven't taken it off yet. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove it from the board and trim it down. So if you're like me, you probably have a lot of these backgrounds just hanging around in your craft area or in your stash. Um, different backgrounds, maybe using background stamps or different techniques, and sometimes you just need and a, a card idea for what to do with all of those backgrounds. So today I'm going to be using some products from Concord and Ninth to create a large birthday cake image on a card. So I've cut down this watercolor panel or watercolor background into four separate segments. And I want this to be a layered birthday cake. So I'm going to make sure that the layers as they move up are a little bit smaller. Each layer gets smaller than the last using a pencil to make those marks on these watercolor strips. And then I'm gonna take my paper trimmer and I'm gonna trim these down. So I wanna make sure that they're just the right size for what I have in mind. So after I had all of the different layers of the birthday cake cut, I then prepared my card base. Now because this cake is going to be very, very tall, I decided I better do a very tall and skinny card. So I'm cutting my cardstock down to seven inches wide by nine inches tall and then I'm going to score it at three and a half so that it creates a three and a half by nine inch tall card. I've done cards like this in the past. This is kind of the the size of card that I think works best and you don't need a special envelope for cards that are this size because they do fit inside a standard business sized envelope. Then using some dies and stamps from Concord and Ninth. Uh, if you want to know the specific ones, make sure you check out the supplies that are listed below. I'll have links over to stores where you can buy them as well. So I'm going to use some gold foil cardstock from Alta New to use on this die cut. And this is going to be one of those like word decor sticks that they put in the top of cakes. And I thought it'd be really fun to use a metallic cardstock for this because I think they almost look really fun and festive when they're a metallic shade. And to decorate the layers of the birthday cake, I thought it'd be fun to have a little narrow strip of that gold cardstock at the bottom of each layer. I thought about leaving the layers of the cake pretty plain, just the way they are now, maybe with that gold strip at the bottom, but then I decided I wanted it to be really fun and festive since it is a birthday cake. So I mixed up some white gouache with some water, and then I'm using a very small dainty paintbrush to paint on some patterns onto each one of these layers. The bottom layer, which is the largest layer, that's the one where I use some diagonal pinstripes. Very, very thin stripes. And I just painted those onto that bottom layer. The next layer up, I painted on some polka dots. These are just a medium size of polka dots and I wanted that pattern to go all the way across this layered piece for my birthday cake. The third layer up, um, I did some squiggly lines and I had them going a little bit in a diagonal fashion going all the way across. And for the top layer, I did double lines and then added some decorative dots to the side. So now I'm going to use this stencil from Joggles and this is the, this is the big burst stencil. I've had this stencil for a long time and it's a kind of been out of stock and then in stock just briefly and then out of stock again over at Simon. And so I was waiting for a good time to use it. And then I realized I just really wanted to use it today. So I'm so sorry if it's not available right now. Um, you could make a similar effect that I'm getting today using some ink blending if you wanted to do something like this. And I'm using some Golden Glitz Pigment Ink. Um, this is a Delicata ink from Sukaneko. And I'm using a mini round blending tool to add this on. I'm kind of using more of a stamping motion and up and down trying to really press that ink into the stencil. And it's gonna give me some good coverage. And I want this kind of burst to go behind that eat cake stick pin on the top of the, the birthday cake. 
So I really love how that turned out. It's a nice shimmery way to add some detail. So now I'm going to take some VersaFine Onyx Black ink and stamp a greeting from that Concord and Ninth stamp set at the very bottom. I love this greeting. It says, keep your friends close, but your birthday cake closer. I think it's just kind of fun and sassy. I'm using some uh, Ranger Multimedia Matte Adhesive to adhere that eat cake at the very top. And then I'm going to prepare the different layers of my birthday cake. I'm putting a very thin line of adhesive using that same Ranger Multi uh, Matte Adhesive. And then I put the gold foil strip on top. And because it's a liquid adhesive, I was able to wiggle that strip around till it was in the perfect position and then trim off the excess off each side. I did put some foam adhesive on the back of each layer of the cake. And I first placed these on the cake to make sure they had the positioning just right. And then I was able to remove the release paper on the back of each foam piece and then press the layers onto my card front. So this uh, card actually worked up rather quickly because I already had that background uh, finished and prepared. You could use different backgrounds for a similar idea, creating birthday cakes or wedding cakes. I think it would look really, really cool. Thanks for watching today's video. I really love how this turned out, those gold accents. I just live for them, they're so pretty. I hope you guys enjoyed the card video and I gave you some ideas on how to use some backgrounds that you might have in your stash that you've created in the past. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure you hit that notification bell, even if you already are subscribed. Uh, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos. And if you like this video and you think someone else would like it too, please hit that share button and also hit the thumbs up button if you liked it. On screen right now are two videos that I think you might enjoy. Um, birthday cards. Who, who doesn't need more birthday cards? Thanks so much for watching today and I will catch you guys in another video very soon.